Hello and welcome back to a new episode with Learn English with Sandra. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic and a recent topic. We're going to talk about the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. It's important for me also to say that I'm not here to side either with Johnny Depp or Amber Heard. We're going to talk about vocabularies concerning the law. The next time there's a trial that you're interested in or if you want to rewatch parts of the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial on YouTube or in the news that you have the vocabulary and can understand what they are talking about. So the first word is courtroom or court. A courtroom or court is a space in which courts of law are held in, in front of a judge and a jury. So this is really like just a place where it is held. For example, uh, in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, it was in the United States in Fairfax in Virginia. The next word is lawsuit. This means that one person has something against another person and this problem is going to be decided in court. So it's going to be decided who is guilty and who is not. Then we have the word trial. A trial is an examination before a judge and a jury to decide who is guilty or not. So here we really talk about what's happening and why they are in court. The next word is judge. This is an official of law who decides legal disputes in court. The next word is lawyer or attorney. Both words mean the same. And this is a licensed professional who advises and represents others in legal matters. So for example, the two lawyers that stood out for Johnny Depp were Camille Vasquez and Benjamin Chu. And the lawyers for Amber Heard that stood out were Elaine Bredehoft and Benjamin Rodenborn. They were representing the defendant and the plaintiff, words that I will explain in a moment, and were talking for their clients. The next word is jury. A jury is a group of civil people empowered to decide who is guilty or not. And this is very typical for the United States. We don't have a jury system in every country. For example, in Europe, we don't really have this, but in the United States, this is very common. So you just go about your day and suddenly you get a letter that says you need to come and fulfill your jury duty and you need to be in the jury for weeks or months, depending on how long the trial is going to take. The next word is plaintiff, which was Johnny Depp in this case, because he accused Amber Heard of doing something wrong. And the defendant was Amber Heard because she is the person who was accused of doing something wrong. The next word is witness or witnesses because we had more witnesses. So this is a person who saw or heard the crime take place or may have important information about the crime or the defendant, in this case, Amber Heard. The next word is witness stand. This is a seat from where a witness gives evidence to the court. So the witness is called to come to the front and they have this stand where they can sit, there's a microphone and there they are going to testify, which is my next word. The next word is testimony or the verb to testify. A testimony is a oral, so spoken or written form of evidence given by a witness under oath. Under oath means that this is a formal promise that you're going to tell the truth in the court of law. And the judge 
asks the witness before they start to testify if they're going to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And then they say yes. A lot of times during the trial, we heard the lawyers object to something. They said objection, hearsay, objection, compound. So objection is a lawyer's wish for the judge to delete either the testimony of a given witness or the complete evidence. Evidence is a noun, very important, that is proof that is presented in the court. This can be in form of pictures, videos, recordings, materials, but also experts that were in contact with the plaintiff or the defendant. A prenup. A prenup is, let's say, a contract of marriage. So when you get married, you sign a prenup in case you decide to get divorced. It will already say, okay, you will get half of the house, you will get half the money of the car, and uh, you can keep all your books. So you already decide in the prenup how it's going to get down in case you get divorced. Perjury. The word perjury was mentioned very often <laughs> by Camille Vasquez. And this just means that a witness is knowingly and intentionally lying about material on the stand. Then we had the famous to pledge versus to donate. And to donate means that someone voluntarily gives money to a person or a charity as a gift. To pledge means that you're going to pay someone an amount of money over time. Then we have the word defamation or to defame someone. This was what the whole trial was about. To defame someone means that you are injuring or hurting someone's reputation in public. Then we had the word maliciously defamed. So this maliciously really is focusing on the act of intentionally hurting someone, like really knowing that you're going to hurt this person, but you're still doing it. I also mentioned the word up at. This is really just like an article for a newspaper or magazine that is a statement from the author. Then we heard the words domestic violence, domestic abuse, which is the same. This is just violence committed inside of your own home. This can be violence through your parents, your family members, your partner, ex-partner, husband, wife. In the end, there was a verdict. So a verdict is the jury's or the judge's conclusion on the case. They come out and they have the statement. Here comes the word conviction. Conviction is a formal declaration that someone is guilty of a crime and this is voiced through the verdict. In the case of Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, we heard that the jury decided that she has to pay compensatory damages. This is for Johnny Depp to compensate for his loss or his suffering or his injury. In this case, more about suffering and his reputation. And they also decided that Amber Heard has to pay punitive damages, which means that they wanted to punish her with these punitive damages because she wrote the op-ed and hurt Johnny Depp. I hope that you learned some new words, that you were able to enrich your vocabulary in the section of law, which is also important. And if you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you soon in the next session.